Have you ever pulled up behind someone stopped at a traffic light, and then as soon as the light turned green, they put on their turning signal? Ugh. Bro, why did you not have that on from the start? I could have moved into the other lane to go around you if I knew you were going to be turning. Now, I'm stuck behind you, and I can't change lanes because there's other cars here. And look, it's not the fact that you have to turn that I'm annoyed about. You gotta go where you gotta go. What annoys me is that you didn't indicate what you were planning to do, and now it's put me in a bad spot. A bad spot that I could have avoided if I knew what you were planning to do. And this doesn't just happen in traffic. It happens in everyday life as well. I can think of many different instances where I wasn't sure what someone's plans were and it kind of prevented me from doing what I wanted to do. Or they were continually vague and didn't give me a straight answer, which made it harder for me to figure out what they were trying to do, which in turn made it harder for me to figure out what I was trying to do. Or I thought they were going to do one thing and then they ended up doing something completely different. All these times, I wasn't clear on what their intentions were. And all these times, it affected me in a slightly negative way. Nothing so bad for me to actually get mad or upset, but enough to be mildly irritated, semi-annoyed, displeased, if you will. For example, one time I was supposed to hang out with one of my friends later that day, but there was no set time. All I knew was that they had something to do in the morning that was going to go until the mid-afternoon. They would let me know when they were finished, and then we would meet up after that. I wasn't sure when this was going to be, but to me, mid-afternoon starts at around 2. So. I finished up all the things I needed to do, and was more or less ready to go by that point. And then I was just on standby, waiting for them to tell me they were done. Waiting, and waiting, and waiting some more. And then finally, at 4.30pm, they texted me and told me they were done. And I was mildly irritated by this. If I had known that they were going to be done closer to 4.30, I would have done my own thing until 4.30, rather than just until 2. I kind of felt like I wasted those two and a half hours being ready to go when I didn't need to be. And it's not like they did anything purposefully wrong, so I couldn't really be mad or upset at them. But but I wish they had been a bit more communicative about how their day was going, and when they expected to be done. That would have allowed me to plan my own day more comfortably, rather than being uncertain and unsure about something up in the air. Something up in the air and completely out of my control. Now, when it comes to everyday life, I think most people generally don't like these three things. They don't like being inconvenienced, they don't like being surprised, and they don't like it when something ends up being different than what they expected. Not in a good way. For me, I know I really don't like all these things, especially when they happen all at once. Take the last minute turn signal situation, for example. If the person in front of you signals at the very last second, you are now inconvenienced because you're stuck behind them. You're surprised because it was a last second change, and you're not moving forward on the green light like you expected to. However, if I come up behind someone and they do have their turn signal on, that is a completely different story. Even if I don't have time or room to get into the other lane and then end up stuck behind them, yeah, I'm inconvenienced. But at least I'm not surprised about it, and I didn't expect anything different to happen. So I'm not going to be as annoyed with them. In fact, I probably probably won't even be annoyed with them personally. I may be annoyed that I'm stuck behind them, but I'm not going to think it's their fault. So I think communicating your intentions early is a really simple way to prevent these three things from happening, at least all at the same time. Really, any situational change that might cause someone to be inconvenienced, surprised, or disappointed should be communicated as early as possible. Give the people in your life a heads up as to what's happening on your end. This allows people to make their own decisions on how they want to move forward. It also gives them time to make adjustments on their end to compensate for the changes if they need to. I think the worst thing you can do is leave it to the last minute, because that's when people will be the most inconvenienced and the least understanding. This is where they may feel misled or deceived. This is where they'll feel the most disrespected. Imagine you've made a reservation at a restaurant for a friend's surprise birthday party, but when you get there, you find out that they had taken too many bookings and had to cancel your reservation. And they did this about a week ago, but for some reason, no one told you. So you're only finding out about it now, here at the restaurant. If they had called you a week ago and told you about this, yeah, you would have been slightly annoyed, but you would have had a lot of time to find a new place. Yes, you're inconvenienced, but at least you're not going to be showing up to the restaurant expecting to be sad. If they had told you yesterday, you would have been more annoyed than that. You would have had less time to find a new place, but at least you still would have had some time. And at least you're not going to be showing up to the restaurant expecting to be sad. But no, that's not what happened. Instead, they've told you now at the very last second. And here is where you're going to be incredibly annoyed. You are inconvenienced and surprised. You've just shown up with your group expecting to be sad, but instead there's no table for you. Now you have no time to find a new place. You'll wish that they had told you this a week ago. In fact, you'll even wish that they told you this yesterday, or this morning, or a few hours ago. At least then, you would have had some time to make some adjustments. But finding out at the very last minute has taken away all autonomy from you. And now, your friend's surprise birthday dinner is ruined.
Now, this would suck. I hope you never find yourself in this position. But I hope you never find yourself in the restaurant's position either, where someone is incredibly and justifiably angry at you. Angry at you for not telling them something that they should have been told. Angry at you for communicating something late when it should have been communicated early. And look, sometimes these things happen. But if it happens more than once, people will start to remember it. If someone doesn't tell you something until late one time, it's easy to forget about. But if it happens two or three times, you'll start to connect them. It's maybe becoming a pattern with this person. You may start to think that they're unreliable. This affects their credibility and their reputation. They would lose some of your trust. And the same goes for if you were to do this to someone else, accidental or not. So communicate your intentions early. Make it easy for the people in your life. Make it clear what you're planning to do and allow them to plan around that. If inconvenient changes come up, let them know as soon as possible. Give them autonomy to make their own decisions on how they want to proceed. Give them the time to make adjustments if they need to. Even if it inconveniences them, they'll appreciate it more than finding out at the last minute. Show them that you respect their time, and you'll have their respect in return. Anyway, that's it for today. If you found this video insightful, your thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on personal development and self-improvement. And let me know in the comments about a time you've been inconvenienced by finding out something at the last minute. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.